Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 261. My name is Ryan. I'm joined by my good pal, Katrin. Hello. And not my brother, but my other good pal, <laughs> Derek Frank. Hello. Chris is not here, so we brought in... Um, brought in the backup. <laughs> brought in the backup. <laughs> the, super back up. Oh, the last no, resort. The You're the it's superstar. Like take, I mean, taking your cousin to prom. No, well, <laughs> we just know that you don't really have time for us because you because you get so many views on YouTube. I mean, mm-hmm. you just passed oh. the milestone. I mean, yeah. what yeah, was it? Th- you got 350 views on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three hundred and fifty thousand. Thousand. That's so thousand. awesome. That's yeah. Zeros. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's that, uh, been a lot, a long road. Do you get a button for that? Is there like a aluminum button or something? No. no yeah, aluminum is <laughs> tin foil. I could three D print you a button. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. I'd like that. Okay. <laughs> I'll get on that. I can even resin inlays like oh yeah. Oh man. See now that sounds great. Or maybe I can get a sticker that would go with my living with the land speeder sticker. Oh man. Oh, what a cool concept. Living with the land speeder. <laughs> you can get it now on Spreadshop. No, oh, wait, Spreadshirt. <laughs> I was getting wrong. <laughs> I got mine. I bought mine and I bought the stickers and they're they're wonderful quality. Spreadshirt. Um, how is it? I'm geek. Oh, dot spreadshirt dot com slash I am geek. Dot com. Or you can go to I am geek show dot com and there's a link there. That's probably the easiest yeah. way to do it. There'll be more stuff. Maybe beautiful coming. Beautiful web page. All right. Tonight we have Derek on. We are going to talk. Um, Something that hasn't happened since the since the Monday Night Wars of the late nineties between WCW and WWE, oh, or WWF no, yeah, back man. then. <laughs> Disney versus <laughs> Universal Studios, head to head announcements I, I, like crazy. So hold on, I thought you were going <laughs> to make mention of the WWE being sold to the Arabians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. That was a rumor. If that if they did that, I Isn't mean, that crazy. That would be. I mean, congratulations. Uh, you know, whoever bought it or whatever. But I don't really watch them. I watch AEW. Yeah. Um, they got AEW fan. I don't even really watch WWE anymore because they've just. It's, well, it would even get worse if they sold it to the Saudis. I think. Vince. Nothing it was Saudi. starting to get a little better. I heard when Vince stepped down. But now Vince is back, and yeah, they had to bring him back in. But oh, well, he that didn't last long. No. Forced himself back in. Um, anyways, no. So I was talking about the Monday Night Wars. <laughs> That's what we can relate it to, Katrin and I. Derek, were you a fan of the Monday Night oh, Wars? Oh yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. I, I I had the wrestling buddies. I had everything. But did we you had have a Nitro Party? Yeah, we oh. had a Nitro Party. Wow. Well, I mean, we had WCW <laughs> versus storm. NWO Revenge, and oh, yeah. I was in like junior high though. So, oh, see, we were in college, so we're old. <laughs> we are. No, I was just held back old. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we had an actual Nitro Party, and we tried to win a contest. Like you had to, you yeah. you'd send your video in and be featured. You know, if, if you're lucky, but we didn't get featured, but. It was a lot of fun. We making. had a wrestling match. We set up a ring, like a fake yeah. ring, but in the uh, common area of the of the dorm Pal hall. I I um, was one of the wrestlers for the event. Of course, and you I were. put our friend Greg in the um, Luger his stretch. I put Greg in the stretch because Greg was is very tiny guy, <laughs> which made it very easy to pick him up and put him in the, <laughs> in the stretch. The guy dressed up as Sting. It was. It was fun. It was epic. Yeah, I'm sure it was really bad, but it was a lot of fun. That's all I remember. <laughs> so if you don't know what the Monday Night Wars, two <laughs> opposing wrestling companies decided to both be on Monday night, and they went head-to-head in the ratings. So when I see Disney and Universal, they're going head-to-head now with these announcements. So it just brought me back to when two major companies went head-to-head. Who will come out on top? Who will buy the other one? We don't know. Wow. Because 
WWF bought. Yeah. WCW. Anyways. <laughs> so we've had a lot of announcements. Before we get to that, I wanted you guys to know, because I promised, I didn't promise Derek because he wasn't here. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I promised Katrin and my brother, who's not here, um, that I was giving a little short report. I went and stayed in a yurt. Oh, yeah. For, that was like, the yurt. Tonight. Yurtopia was what it's called. Nice. Um, <laughs> In the Texas Hill Country, <laughs> uh, it got very dirty. <laughs> it was so cool. Let well, me tell good. you, it was like this place, and they had a bunch of yurts, but you couldn't see other yurts, so you're just like secluded in the wood, in the sort of the hill country in the woods. We had to cross two bridges. Ours was the only one that had bridges across this ravine, and then there's this Mongolian, like legit Mongolian, built by Mongolians yurt just hmm. in the middle of the woods wow and it had a big deck it had a two-story deck that had a hammocks up top where you could just sit and watch the sunset it had a hot tub outdoor shower oh my you could just walk around in your skivvies no one could oh, see oh yeah. interesting so you're out in the middle of nowhere around nobody else nobody else. you and the yurt and your wife Yep. Yeah, that's I don't it. really want to know anymore. I can um, only imagine. But you, you had have a good an outdoor time. TV, which was odd. You're like in nature, and then it's like, here's an outdoor TV. You can sit in the hot tub nice. and watch whatever. Well, you're in Texas, in the hill country. So, I mean, the weather's nice, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing says Mongolian yurt to me like Texas. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but it was a le- legit Mongolian yurt. They hired. The Mongolians Mongolian? who make these yurts. <laughs> wow. To, to build them. <laughs> and I went out hiking. Let's see, my wife's the hiker. And I'm like, I'll yeah. hike if I have to hike. If- she slid in the hammock all day. And I went out hiking through the hill country there around yeah. it. And I'm like, stepped outside of our little yurt area. And there's like all kinds of animal tracks. So who knows what was like staring at me in the middle of the night when I'm just sitting out on this deck, but there was all kinds of animal tracks all around us. Could it be the Yurdy? <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Trying to link it in. <laughs> the Yurdy, yes. <laughs> but it was a cool place. I want to I want to go back. They said they had a, uh, this is going to sound, they had a spa yurt where you could get massages. So it was a yurt you could go get hmm. a massage. So we did that. Uh, the people in there said, "Hey, you should really come like New Year's Eve or Fourth of July because when you sit up on your upper deck, there's like fireworks everywhere around you. You can oh, see from cool. the yeah. distance and stuff." So maybe we'll go back. Yeah. It's cool. I, I suggest go to a yurt. It's actually pretty cool. Glamping is what I would call it because yeah, you know, king size bed in the yurt. It's nice. <laughs> my style camping. Yes, mine too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. I loved it. Anyways, okay, let's get on to the uh the stuff at hand here. There's a um, lot. Where do you start? There, I I I'm trying to remember what the first announcement like actually like what kicked it off. Because I think something kicked it off and then the other company was, was like Tron. Oh, yeah. Well, I let's think the uh, prom, yeah, it. probably did yeah, because right? they had yeah. the, they did that like video game thing, yeah. like with yeah. the, the teaser, and then I think the Tron announcement came out, and then it was like floodgates Here's opened. All these things, yeah. Did you see that how they announced um, happily ever after returning? Mm-hmm. I mean, we we pretty much knew that was going to happen. We just didn't know yeah. the date, right? No when, right? Yeah, yeah. But so <laughs> the it was. Um, on the Disney parks, social media, it, it looked like an intern, just a young college intern kid. And he's got, okay, we got the green screen up with the, the castle on it. Okay. And then we got this here that, uh, here's the paperwork, uh, that says that happily ever after is coming back. Um, April, what does it say? April 3rd. Sure. April 3rd, yeah. and then it says, do not read this on camera right now. <laughs> and he goes, oh! And then it like, oh. fades out. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny. Um, so yeah. Okay. So those things were just sort of started it off. Um, and then I think the, um, the free parking come next. I think this, the, the next thing that I saw. Yeah. So, the, so or, they or had maybe, free no, you know what? Maybe the, um, the discounts and the, the dining the card discounts. Yeah. That was the first thing actually. Yeah, that was, well, yeah, that was before Tron. <laughs> that was the first thing because the, all the travel agents were like, Coming tomorrow. That's huge right. Huge announcement. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like last week. That was on like Friday. Yeah, like or huge yeah. announcement. There's In a Friday. world you're, you're where you want sorry. your dining plan yeah. back, you get a gift card. You get a gift yeah. card. Yeah. <laughs> the socks are going to be blown off. And I'm like, this is not going to be. I can, you know, I'm, I'm to a point where it's like, I don't get my hopes up about anything. I'm like, there's not going to be a huge announcement. It's going to be something lame. And I thought it was sort of lame. <laughs> Uh, you get a it gift card. It is because what it ends up being is a discount, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so, of if you're staying at a value fifty dollars a night discount, <laughs> you know, is what it yeah. I mean, it's because you're going to spend that money, and they're kind of guaranteeing that you're going to try to you're going to because part of it is, is it guarantees that you're going to spend money on food. Fifty dollars uh-huh. is not enough to eat it, all, the food that you need, so you're going to spend more, or whatever. So it works out for them. Yeah. It works out for you. It makes you feel good. But I, I mean, it's a good effort. I guess something. <laughs> I guess <laughs> they realize they realize that they're charging too much, and they can get you in the door if they make you think you're saving. Yeah, but like you said, like a family of four, yeah, fifty dollars is going to get them like two hamburgers or something. I mean, yeah, it, it does. It does a good job at helping with um, uh, quick service. Uh, you yeah, know, just having just gotten back not too long ago. That's close to what we paid for quick service. We don't do a lot of sodas and all that. So that that's pretty good. I mean, it for, yeah, but you know, I know we year. all miss, we all miss the days. Like I know Memorial day, uh, probably four years ago, they had a special going on and it was so good that my in-laws were going to come down for Memorial day in Nashville. And we ended up just getting plane tickets and a suite at, um, at pop. Mm-hmm. And we got the dining plan for all of us flights yeah. hotels and it was like it was amazing and yeah. when you have an adult beverage with every meal even at the quick service for four people that's like 120 bucks yeah so we yeah. i miss those days yeah a lot yes i i miss the days where annual passes were like 300 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well i mean oh, the first time i went to disney in 2002 with you Ryan or 2003 whenever it was yeah. I remember you telling me yeah the ticket's like 54 bucks for the day you know <laughs> and it was like man yeah, that's man. expensive you know because because like Dollywood you could get a, a year season pass for Dollywood for like 106 dollars or something you know and you can get in anytime you wanted to there's no blackout dates at Dollywood by the way <laughs> <laughs> tonight's episode is not sponsored by Dollywood. <laughs> Sorry, Dollywood. <No. laughs> but yeah, so prices have definitely gone up a lot since then. So we had the food card. Yeah. Everybody, some people were happy. Some people were not. Then um, Tron. Well, right after. So there or, were also discounts that day that were announced. So not just the dining card, but you can also. Oh, there was. It's, it's an either or. Land? No, at Disney World, you can. Oh. There are certain dates and certain resorts where you can get a percentage off for your stay in uh, t- from like now, I guess I don't know till sometime in June. Um, so it, but you could only do one or the other. You couldn't do the dining plus mm. this because it. So what it it probably equals out to about the same, to be honest, uh, because it's. I mean, it's like twenty five percent, which is still something you know so i probably didn't since i'm dvc uh, we sure. never they never do anything for us anymore it's just like yeah hey you, you get a right. discount at the star cruiser now <laughs> <laughs> so we so somebody figured it out and basically if you use the discount basically it would be like going for two weeks to the polynesian resort Oh my gosh. Like I staying two, two, weeks Polynesian Polynesian. For two weeks. I know me too. <laughs> I would rather go to the Polynesian for two weeks and yeah, spend that many yeah. points on a two night thing. Even though I really want to go yeah. on the, which somebody offered for not offered to send me for free, but said, Hey, we have a group. Yeah. We would like another person. Do you want to go? 
I'm like, I don't know. And then they told me the dates. I'm like, oh, no, I don't have money right now. And I'm like, who, who's the group? And it was like, <laughs> it would have been like four older ladies in me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> older. <women>. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> <sighs> That was, that was Man, I don't know how old they were, they were. Yeah, I don't know how. I think they were mostly married women, but I'm like, you know, <laughs> I don't have the money though right now, so okay, it didn't work out. Didn't work out with the older women, huh? Yeah, <sighs> that would have been interesting, huh? Hey, you know what they say about them. <laughs> you know what they say. <laughs> they make- <laughs> they make uh, uh quilts. Be make we're stuff. not being mean. We're not being no. mean. It was just a fun joke. It's just a funny coincidence. Coincidence, yes. Um mm. yeah, so the discount really doesn't do anything for me. So that's probably why I ignored it. Disneyland got some stuff too, but since I've only been to Disneyland once, I didn't really pay much attention to what Disneyland got. I think they brought back some something. Mm, that's Hold on, magic key note. thing. I think it's a magic there, key. Thing. Yeah, they're um, but, 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 uh, yeah, something with the magic key. I didn't put it either. Well, and they all they're also getting um the new restaurant, Tiana's place. That just got announced. So that's like the yeah, last that thing today. that got announced today. Yeah, We're skipping all over the timeline. I know, <laughs> and you know, big <laughs> popcorn buckets are coming back. Woohoo! <laughs> Actually. Today was exactly a year uh, since I went down to Disney with my nephew, and we did our oh. guys' trip, just the two of us, and, oh, and cool. he's the one that's watching. So, awesome. and you still had to wear a mask inside. Yes, how things have changed already. Yep. Oh yeah, like this time last year, we Hawaii and Disneyland. Yeah, so we were yep. either Disneyland now or in Hawaii or somewhere, somewhere. We were somewhere. That was an interesting trip to get to Hawaii with the whole mass thing going on. And, uh, <laughs> seems so long ago. So free parking has come back for resort guests, which yes. I always thought was a dumb thing. Anyways, for the pay, which yeah. the DVC didn't have to, so that was cool. Right. But yeah, you, you didn't know the difference. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, Universal has been doing it for a while. So then Disney jumped on that bandwagon because they're like well if they can charge for parking we can charge for parking well and a lot of hotels i mean not really resorts hotels charge you for parking yeah 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 all the hotels so it's a common common thing uh that resorts would charge that that fee (laughs) but i'm glad they got rid of it because that's it seemed like a nickel and dime because you're paying so much already so it uh, especially because if you're paying to stay at the hotel and park at the hotel. Then you have to park and pay to park at the park. It's like, well, okay. if you if you paid to park at the resort, then you parking at the park was free. Yeah. Oh, was that the so, case? Yes. Okay. That, so that I've was never free. driven no, down there. So. Right. Yeah. I don't do it much either. But yeah, it um it was still so you didn't have to pay the extra, but it still just was weird. <laughs> but it it's nice to have that gone, at least for now. Yeah. Yeah. For now. And then, uh, it, and then annual pass holders are getting, uh, they can come, they don't have to have, have a reservation after That's 2 right. p.m. Yeah. After 2 p.m. Yeah. After 2 p.m. You can just go anywhere you want. But you still have to have a reservation before 2 p.m. You're right. If you wanted to go to Magic Kingdom before that, you'd have to have a reservation for Magic Kingdom and then you can go wherever. But if you just wake up at one o'clock in the afternoon and you're like, I want to go to a park, you can go wherever you want to. Yeah. Now, Which I wonder. Land, a test so it's Disneyland, and, real quick. They uh, theirs has been twelve o'clock instead of two o'clock, and now yeah. it's eleven o'clock. Oh, and theirs makes much more sense being earlier because you just walk back and forth. Yeah, it's yeah. You know, the parks are beside each other. It lasts. So you walk yeah. back and forth. It's right. really like literally right beside each other. It was crazy when we were there because it's like oh, you just walk a couple feet and then you're in the next park. So for them to even have the park hopper time was weird because it's literally side by side. You don't have to worry about driving to another park or getting a transportation to another park or anything. One more thing they gave 
people, I guess, is if you have Genie Plus, you now <laughs> get your photos from attractions for free. So you don't have to have photo pass to get those Just pictures. attractions. Just attractions. So yeah, if you want pictures in front of the castle with their cameras, you have to pay for it. But if you just want the Buzz Lightyear photo, then you got it. If you get, if you have Genie Plus. Which they made it almost look like that's what was going to happen anyways with Gene Plus. Or maybe that's the way it was at Disneyland. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Seemed like they were um, that was going to be part of it. Or maybe I'm thinking of the filters. I don't know. But um, but that's cool. Yeah. I, mean, I think originally it was. And then they're like, no, never mind. You have to pay for so. stuff. Because with the pass holder, origin- forever, mm-hmm. you got photo pass with your pass and your yeah. pass. Yep, and now yep. you don't. You have to pay a hundred bucks to have well, photo pass on one hundred and seventy. So <laughs> it's what I pay. Well, still, I'm just like, I can just take a selfie. Well, I will say that it feels like the quality has gone down with those photo pass photographers, like we did when we went this oh. last time. Like, and it seemed like before that too, but it was just, it doesn't seem like they're as good as they used to be. No, I don't know if their cameras are not as good, or they're. Not I think it's just not actual photographers doing it. Probably it's probably yeah. just a lot of the college, college program kids. College program. Yeah. It's, here, here's a camera. Go take some pictures. <laughs> You've used a camera before. <laughs> they're, they're, they've used their somebody? own cell phone now. <laughs> you know what I regret, uh, Ryan? Thinking back about that first trip that I went on, I had a Kodak camera, the ones that are disposable that yeah. I took on that trip and I never got it developed <laughs> and I don't know where it's gone, I think, but I wish I still had it and could get it developed, but it actually had some pictures from some other trip too. I wish I'd gotten them all. And, uh, but Did yeah, you think disposable meant like after you take the pictures, just throw it away. You just throw it away. Yeah. But <laughs> um, I just didn't do it. I mean, cause it was, it oh, wasn't, no. you had to go take it and put it in the envelope and send it off and wait for it, you know, all back this stuff. Then, and, back then. Um, and you can uh, still buy those, which is funny. Yeah. People use them at weddings and other events. So, okay, I'm gonna play the the bad the bad guy here. All right, okay. After all the stuff that we said, do you think the Disney higher up sat back and said, "How little can we give them to make them happy?" Hmm. I think that's been a conversation the last the- five years. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, um, but like, it's like, okay, here's everything that Chapek did. What's the smallest things that he did that we could say, hey, we turned, we changed this back. See, be I happy. Because Maybe. the big things, the big things haven't come back. Annual passes, sure. dining plan, um, reservation system gone. Sure. Um, what else was the biggest things? I, mm, but see, I opening think everything I, that's available, yeah. <laughs> like open all yeah. the stores in Epcot. Yeah, there's and there's still some things that haven't come back. Like Hoopty Doo reviews was supposed to come back, and it still hasn't. Oh, it's it's back. Did it's it come back. back? Okay, well, there was something yeah, else that back. didn't. Maybe I don't know. Anyways, there's I mean, still there's, things there's that still shows that aren't out. Right, there's still, uh, you know, they're yeah. never going to bring back all of the uh, the March with with all of the uh, the Star Wars characters and and stuff mm-hmm. in Hollywood Studios. That's never coming back. Yeah, I was looking for that. T room at Grand Floridian is still not back, which my yeah. wife was bummed about. <laughs> She loves the tea room, but it was, it's, they haven't brought it back. I don't know why, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I like to think that maybe yeah. it's, um, it's, do you a think start. they're just sort of testing the waters or do you think? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah maybe it's a start, it's a start and then there's going to be Something. more things to come. It, it, these were easy things that they could do that meant yeah. a lot to a lot of people. And it, and for whatever reason, it seems like they're anticipating low crowds from March to June because that's when that deal is. I looked at, I was just looking at my notes. It's from March to June is that 20%, 25% off deal. And, uh, or I'm sorry, for the dining card, I think. Anyways, or the 25, it doesn't matter. The the deals. So they're not expecting a big summer, even though they everybody knows Tron was going to open in the spring and now we know the date. Uh, that should bring in lots of people, but um, somebody made a point the other day is like, there's nothing else after Tron. So they've 
kind of run out of their magic tricks, you know, they're in, so maybe they've got more though. Cause I mean, that's a lot at one time to, to, to kind of front load the year with here's all these cool things coming or here's all this th- stuff we're changing or bringing back. Um, oh, and this, harmonious is going away. Yeah. Right. Harmonious is going away and um, back comes Epcot forever. And yeah, which I'm kind of yeah. bummed about that. Like, yeah, <laughs> I understand the barges. Some people really hate, it. they didn't bother me. Like, <laughs> Did it, it, was it the, the most beautiful skyline during the day? No, but I really loved the show. Well, they haven't said that the, the barges are going away forever. They're, this Epcot Forever show is coming back, and then there's going to be a brand new show for the hundredth, which will come out. And then, so who knows? The hundredth show yeah. could have barges. Yeah. <laughs> and, and of course, everybody's excited about Happily Ever After, but it also kind of, you know, I didn't think I was going to play bad cop at all, but I, I kind of feel now that, now that you talked yes. about it, everybody's so excited and they're just regurgitating stuff that was already popular and they took yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's a lot they can do with happily ever after. Like now they can do the projections down main street and yeah, but like Epcot forever was, it, it was okay. Yeah. It didn't it's like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't illumination. But like, it, is, yeah. isn't Epcot Forever though the just the in betweener? Because then yeah, yeah, they do that. yeah. So that's it's just what they can do easily to get ready so, for the next thing, right? So they cut back again, yeah, and yeah. made it exciting. <laughs> yeah, sure. Get excited! We're doing a cutback. You're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, you don't like the bring back kite tails. Away. Just right. put kite tails yeah. in Epcot. It'll be awesome. I mean, they're probably saving by not having to use the barges, right? There's whatever yeah. technologies they had to use for that. They're not going to have to use now. And now that now that I well, said that, you know what? I'm I so excited about Happily Ever After coming back. Yeah, though. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to, I just, oh, everybody. You know, had to be the bad cop. I mean, that's it's, it's one been, that it's everybody there now. yeah everybody just raved about and loved. So I mean, it's it's definitely going to be met with open arms i guess by a lot of people and it'll bring yeah. people into the stores i know they couldn't because of the crowds now but i wish for the hundredth for epcot instead of doing a new show on the lagoon i wish they brought back the the big parade they used to have there because it was mm-hmm. so cool yeah um, but now with crowds it's like it's the, we gotta cram yeah. as many people on there to drink as many <laughs> alcoholic beverages as they can there's no room for parades yeah <laughs> but that parade was really cool. They had these big puppet things. Yeah. It'd be cool if they did stuff like that for the hundreds, like bring back stuff like that. Or the parade from uh, Hollywood Studios. That was really awesome. Yeah. If you want to bring stuff, I mean, a nighttime parade for Magic Man. Kingdom would be wonderful. That, yeah. Some of my favorite memories of, of going, which I've not been going forever. I mean, it's been 20 years now, I guess, but it, um, it's still the nighttime parades. Like that's one of the first memories I have of going of that, looking yeah. forward to that, of sitting on the curb, waiting for your spot and waiting for the parade, not so much for the, the fireworks, you know, but watching the parade. Mm-hmm. And I really miss that. So I wish they would do that. Come on, but come on, Iger. I just, well, I felt it, like it was a better experience probably, because you would always had a good spot. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you might be a few people back, but you could see everything really well. Yeah. The problem with yeah. the fireworks is like, you're kind of just at the mercy of what time you get there and, and who's pushing around you and whose kids are on their shoulders. Yeah. 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 Everybody's got their phones up and waiting for the fireworks. I remember it, watching Disney fireworks with no phones up in the air. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, back in my day, we didn't even have phones. Old. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. I mean, even we did. when I first went, I mean, I, I didn't have a phone, but people that did have them, they weren't camera phones, you know? Yeah. Uh, so they weren't holding them up and uh, it just wasn't as crowded back then either. But I, I can't imagine that they could do it now just because like when you look down Main Street, whenever they're doing the fireworks show, whatever show they're doing, it is a mess. Like it is it's so bad, <laughs> you know. And so, I mean, I don't I don't think there's any putting the toothpaste back in the tube for that. But unless they figure out a different way to corral people, I don't know. But, I mean, they do I a parade during the day, by. so they obviously can do it. I, yeah. I guess I shouldn't. I should give them a little bit more credit because they do a daytime parade. So, yeah. um, I think it's just difficult with the, the amount of people that stand there to watch that the fireworks show. 
as we I think go I'd around have and go to the right. The fireworks show. To oh, yeah. I totally agree. But what do we know? Uh, what do we know? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I think that's everything Disney's. Yeah, we kind of mentioned Tron vaguely, but so Tron's coming, uh, is opening the fourth. <laughs> yeah, that's of a big thing. It's yeah. a big weekend because it's the third for the fireworks shows and then Tron on the fourth. Yeah. So Magic Kingdom's going to be packed. The rest of the parks are going to be dead, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Go to Hollywood Studios that weekend or Animal Kingdom. Yeah, stay away from Magic Kingdom. My gosh, because they because the by the end of this month w- there will be no Splash Mountain, so that's one less ride mm-hmm. already. There's there's already no um, is it Laugh Floor that's not there right now, so that's that's a, an attraction that's not reopened. Um, and then you'll have this new ride. At least the train's back, so you've got that people eater. Yeah. You know, it's good. Thunder's Thunder's going down for a couple of weeks. Sometime. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a week or two in January or February. So I don't, oh, okay. it'll be back. So, um, but I mean, I, I, we don't know a hundred percent, but it'll probably be like how they did guardians or how they're doing guardians right now, how it's you either buy yeah. the lightning lane or you try to get the virtual queue. So there's not going to be this huge line necessarily, except for the people that are in the lightning lane or the queue i guess i mean because guardians doesn't get that long i don't think i don't know maybe at certain times now do you think guardians will uh, get rid of the Mm. virtual queue once tron opens i don't know they did with um ratatouille rise of the resistance so there was rise of resistance Mm. and then when ratatouille came they got rid of the rise of resistance right and then when um, guardians came they got rid of the ratatouille they they probably could because by that time it they've gotten all the kinks worked out it's going to be regularly down for whatever reason because every ride is, you know. And so I think they're ready for it. There's enough room to put people in there. Um, I think it'll still be, it will definitely be a lot, an individual lightning lane that you can purchase. Yeah. Um, but I think the virtual queue will go away. I, I don't know if there's something with having two virtual queues out there at the same time in the parks that might cause issues. Like mess, people probably. accidentally do the wrong one because they have l- virtual queues elsewhere like at disney springs you can do virtual queues for like i think it was uh for gideon gideon's is that the name of the place the cookie place um because well, that's said, a different that's a different, a totally different so, gideon's okay. gideon's does their own thing okay well then it was santa santa down in disney springs you could do a vi- virtual queue uh, in the app for santa and i guess it it can tell if you're there or not and if you can jump into it or maybe you can jump to it from anywhere but um uh yeah well, I'll be there in May, oh, so I'm hoping virtual queue will be gone for <laughs> Galaxy Guardians. What? Yeah, I said you'll know. <laughs> oh yeah, and then so I just have to worry about Tron. And which I when's Moana about. supposed to open? We uh, have a date. End of the, <laughs> end of the year, maybe. I think it's towards the end of the year. Everybody's yeah. excited. I don't know. I know you guys are. I mean, Catron's really excited about the 16 story. Leave me alone. On the character. <laughs> as you feet. can that's tell i've already show. gotten like three or four things wrong in this one so it's it's just my it's, what I do. it's my thing no. No. <laughs> anyways so yeah so i have a room so you guys are welcome to come to um in may just come on down well not anybody listening <laughs> <I mean, laughs> everybody everybody gets to stay with ryan everyone watching he's in room 207 no. Yeah, come, what, ho- come what hotel are you staying at? Um, uh, it's the Holiday Inn Express off of I four. I four. Come on down, knock on the Free door. Breakfast. <laughs> Free, Free breakfast. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So this is all the di- little Disney announcements, and some you know the Tron opening is a big announcement, but yeah. we've been waiting what five years for that. Um, <laughs> Something like that. How how long has it been like? It's been like five years, right? It's been a while. It doesn't seem like, I mean, it it does seem like a long time, but at the same time, it doesn't seem as long as it actually has been because it's been at least 2018 or 2019 when they announced it. And then it got it was stalled. It's open for the 50th, but then we know yeah. all this stuff happened. Um, and the 50th is coming to an end. Use. Yeah. <laughs> 50th will be coming to an end. 100th will be starting, which doesn't make sense, but one's for <laughs> Walt Disney World and yeah. one's for Disney and 
general. In general, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's going to, that's the tagline. The 100th Disney math. Of Disney in general. In general. <laughs> the Walt Disney Company is the name. <laughs> I like mine better. Just in general. In general, yeah. In general. Which, oh, so before we switch over to their competitors of this war, um, did you see that they've already started coming out with the 100th anniversary merch? Oh, yeah. Hmm. And for the low, low price of $175, you can get some questionable dripping Mickey ears <laughs> um, <laughs> to wear. I think you yeah, should only wear them although. at Disney After Dark or something. Um I saw them. People have bought them. They've already sold out. A platinum. Did you see the um, the Star Wars hat? It's it's so bad. It's purple, and it. Oh, it I did see that. And it just says Star Wars in the corner. Yeah. Star Wars. It, it's like I, I don't yeah. want to be mean. It's like the old lady running hat. <laughs> like, it's just yeah, not I that. like I don't see a lot of Star Wars fans buying that. But then again, yeah. I'm sure all of the uh, the resellers will buy everything. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot of uh, the, the light purple. I don't know. I like purple. Obviously, you can tell by my lights. But the light purple, I don't know. Light I'll get purple. you when I'm there. If they sell those hats, I'll get you one. But yeah, okay. Can, I should have got the one that you have, but you know, I didn't. Hmm. Uh, for Christmas, I got a couple more from this company, and they're both they're all really cool. So mm. heroes and villains. If you're looking for some Star Wars clothing and hats that actually look decent, their stuff's cool great. to wear. Heroes and yeah. villains. That's what we're going to Cool. They had a big Christmas sale. So my wife got me a couple of hats. So that's cool. Anyways. All right. So let's switch over. Um, Universal came out swinging, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Because Disney's like, hey, we're bringing back free parking. Hey, you know that ride that you've been waiting on for five years open? Open in April. Bringing back old stuff. And then Universal's like, here, hold my, it's family friendly, milk. <laughs> and then they come out with, they, they start with out of left field announcement that a new, Year round Halloween Horror Nights attraction is coming to Vegas. That was out of left field, mm. uh, but it's pretty cool uh, yeah. that they're doing that. Um, it looks like from the artwork, it's going to have um, everybody's favorite clown, Jack, and Chance will probably be there, probably headlining it. Um, I I loved Halloween Horror, 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 ugh, Halloween Horror Nights for years. I didn't go this last year because it's kind of a little weird. Um, that's cool. So they started that, and then they said, "Oh, and by the way, we're going to do a mini theme park in Texas. No big deal. <laughs> a kids <laughs> theme park. Yeah, now is that is that a deal. mini like like it's just a smaller theme park or just mini in Texas size because mini everything's in bigger in Texas. <laughs> so it's like, right. it's bigger than the magic kingdom or what? What are we talking here? Um, I don't know. I mean, they, they're calling it sort of like a mini park. It's I'm sure it's geared towards kids. It, yeah, the, I, saw, the I saw some of the renderings. Yeah. But here's the thing. This is what's interesting. Disney had this idea way back. When right before Eisner came in, and when Disney Company was just in the in the tank, the only thing that was really going good for them was the theme parks. They said, "Hey, theme parks is going good. Let's make many Magic Kingdoms throughout the United States." The plans were in, you know, they had them all worked out. The plans was going to happen, and then Eisner came in and said, "You know, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to do Euro Disney instead." So they went that route. Um, which sort of well, worked out. They dodged a bullet with not doing the one in St. Louis because I know that was one of the spots. In <laughs> St. Louis is rough, and it's yeah, yeah the weather's <laughs> not great. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know. So this from is sort of that, that. Yeah, this is sort of that idea that Disney had years ago to do these smaller theme parks throughout the country, and this first one is going to be in Texas, like there in Frisco. Frisco, which is. 
around Dallas area, I think. Which that place is crazy up there anyways. It's crazy crowded, so it should be interesting. Yeah. Um, so do you think that's but, probably going to be more locals than anything? That's what, at least yeah, that's what I, I would think. think. So. It's hard from what I've read it, and I've been up there, it's sort of hard to get into to Frisco. So I don't know what part of Frisco is. There's like a paid toll road to get there, the easiest way to get there. And, um, but so they have a lot to work with. It looks like a kid's area. Um, Trolls, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, How to Train Your Dragon, Minions, uh, maybe Curious George, um, Shrek maybe. They have a lot of kid stuff to work with. Sure. And it looks like they're going to, it's going to be themed out. It doesn't look like it's just going to be like a little carnival local yeah. thing. Um, it looks like the picture has different areas in it where you can sort of see where this could be a troll area. This could be maybe a Shrek area. Um, but not only are they doing this, they're doing Epic Universe, yeah, which is coming along nice. Um, I really thought Epic Universe was going to be done by, before Tron. <laughs> the way it was going. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have been funny. surprised. But, yeah. So, um, I think, again, pandemic sort of slowed that down, too, or it would have probably already been done by now. Um, and then today, um, before Tron has opened, Nintendo Land has soft opened. It's soft Man. opened today and that was announced when was that announced it didn't seem like it was that long ago it was like around christmas i thought yeah it was like a couple weeks maybe so it's already it's it's soft opening you know soft open today just out of the blue it was like if you're in the park come on over come on now come on down so i saw some videos of it 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 is a lot smaller than it just by the look of it. I'm sure it's big, but when you walk through the tunnel, it mm. just sort of looks smaller than I thought it would be. And if I'm being honest, I mean, I'll have to ride the Mario Kart ride, but some, the big joke is looks like someone um, accidentally 50 CC for the Mario Kart ride. Cause it goes really slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for something like test track or the cars ride for that, but it looks like it's sort of slower and a lot of screens, but people say it's pretty cool when you put the AR glasses on. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. It looks fun. Um, But yeah, universal, it feels like universal is hitting the big punches and Disney's coming back with, Hey, you missed this. So we're bringing this back. Mm-hmm. Do you think Disney is going to answer, especially when Epic Universe opens? Well, um, Winchester said in the chat that the Reedy Creek is discussing the land permits for future development on WDW property. Um, so maybe, maybe. I, I I doubt we're going to get a fifth gate. I don't know. I would love it. But I don't. They have don't they have the space if they wanted to. Do are we? Do you think we will still get the the land beyond Thunder Mountain? <laughs> I think that's. Or do you think that's a JPEG thing? That's like, whoop. yeah, I think that's going to get scratched really quick. <laughs> I've always wondered what the land and back there was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I, could I, it be? I've got Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I love flying over all the parks. And, you know, I got a new graphics card for my my PC, so, like, you can get really, really detailed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you could put something here, and you could put something there, <laughs> and, like, there's tons of space for stuff, even, like, attached to the parks that are already there. I mean, even Hollywood Studios has a couple extra pads open still. Yeah. And if you take yeah. out all those buildings that were the animation buildings... You know, yeah, those are basically just sitting there not being used for anything really. Yeah. Anymore. So there's room, but will they do it? I don't know. We did forget we were we started to talk about we'll back up to Disney about Tiana's place opening in Disneyland. So basically what's going to happen is where they had the mint julep 
stand quick service area is going to become Tiana's place quick service, which I, it's cool, but I'm a little disappointed that they're not doing a full out restaurant for it. Yeah. And it's yeah. just going to be a walk up because it's still outdoor seating. It's not mm-hmm. like you go inside. It's just, you walk up to the window type thing. So, but it is close to where Splash Mountain is there. So that makes sense as far as location. Yeah. So that was announced today. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Saying, uh, yep. so I don't know when that will be officially opened. Maybe around the same time as the retheme happens. I saw a sad post today. Do you think um, Br'er Rabbit in Disney World and Disneyland, I guess, will have a headstone in the Haunted Mansion Cemetery? Mm-hmm. Because when Toad, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride went down, they put Mr. Toad in the cemetery. Will we see poor Br'er Rabbit? Maybe so. Faces in. I mean, they're they're doing everything they can on, to erase it. Yeah, that's, that's it's leaving true. on bad terms, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. Which is funny. The Mr. Toad Wild Ride, like if you ride it at Disneyland because it's still there, you're like, how is this a children's ride? How... You literally go to hell in it. Yeah. It's not like, hey, this is oh, a cute place. No, you go to hell in the ride. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still there. Um, it would be cool for a little knob, maybe a little rabbit be put in there. They don't have to put yeah. a rabbit. But yeah. Maybe I'll just take a rabbit, a stone rabbit, just yeah. chuck just it over the fence, it throw it in there. Yep. Throw it in there. <laughs> They did start bringing out their at Haunted Mansion. Their, I'm just going all over the place now. They have a mascot at Haunted Mansion. Did you know mm. this? Mm-mm. It is a um, rat, stuffed rat. Mm. Um, and it, and when they when I heard them say that, I was like, oh, a cute little stuffed animal. No, it's like it looks like a taxidermied rat, like a ratatouille things, and they no, just no, no. repurposed it. It's. They've had it for years and they've never let it come out, (laughs) but they've started bringing it out because Abby is not its original name. It's his original name is Abestos. Asbestos or? Yeah. Well, they call it. Yeah. (laughs) Play on that. Okay. Uh, Because there's so much of it in the (laughs) image. Oh no. So they changed it to Abby and now they can bring it out. And it's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. (laughs) Interesting. Now, I'm looking through stories, and today there was a story that WWE CEO Nick Khan met with Walt Disney Company, uh, with Bob (laughs) Iger and ESPN president James Pitaro about potentially selling the WWE to Disney. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) I I, kind of hope hope that stalls, but... Mm. um, yeah, uh, that's. I would rather Disney get it in the Saudis. Sure, if yeah. I'm being honest, if Things I had to pick between buying two. things, like it's not helping. <laughs> like they're, no. they're. Well, I read something today that the reason, or uh, like the streaming service, is not doing very well. Right? It's it, 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 they're the reason why they've increased prices in the parks is that they're able to pay for the streaming service like the the for everything that's there um with what they make in the park so i they don't need to keep adding things <laughs> unless it's a for sure money maker and maybe it is maybe wrestling is if they can i don't know if you can bring it back to glory days you know maybe but uh, i don't see that happening i, just, I wish yeah. aew is the closest end of glory days yeah I'm probably getting wrestling yeah, yeah. Unless they're uh, looking Vance at like, touring stuff, though, that 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 has money. Yeah, Vance says, "What happened to getting uh, the Hatbox Ghosts at WW 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 WW?" Seems to have gone quiet. I haven't heard anything about the Hatbox Ghosts. Come well, I mean, they gave a date on no, that, no, right? I mean, they announced it, but they never said anything else about it. Well, I mean, but they announced it at yet. the same time as. Um, Chapek did all that stuff, so yeah, I I bet it will. I mean, I guess I'm yeah, curious, I'm sure. like it's why is it making 
so long like what is it does it do something <laughs> they have to find do? they have to find the right person to be head to start okay. with yeah they go through there it used okay. to be a lot easier yeah it used to be a lot easier to hit <laughs> someone not mm. anymore <laughs> and i say it'll still happen yeah i it's think it will much money. i think they're they're whole it's like I said earlier, they're running out of things because they, they're putting everything at the front. So either they've got a lot for the rest of the year that's going to be great or not at all. But I, I mean, maybe they do. Maybe they got. I just want them stuff. to get everything Surprising. done that has already started. I like, know. I'm OK with them not announcing stuff. Just get Epcot finished. Yes. Just get the other parks pretty. Um, yeah. Because I remember going to Disney. And like, it was pretty much a rule. Nothing is going to be dirty. Nothing's going to be, sure. everything's going to be freshly painted every night. And well, they, had, they don't do that anymore. They had to go clean the boats. You saw that where people were complaining about the dirty boats. Like the, oh, that uh, was bad. Yeah. The uh, small world and uh, whatever else. But And then all of a sudden they were clean after everybody complained about it. I'll just yeah. clean the monorails. Now, do do I see something in the title about Ant Man? Is that I is put that, that there because I was like, we should talk about Ant Man, and Ryan's like, oh, we, we too much to talk about. about. Yeah, no, I, was I said, I said, I said, hopefully we'll see. Hopefully we'll have. Oh well, I, yeah. I, I, I was just excited. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, well, let's talk about <laughs> it. No, no, Ant-Man. I don't want to talk about it now. No, but I, 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 I want to talk about it. I want I you to wait talking. until next time, and then I just have to listen. No, no, I think we've covered all the parts. I think, I think it's, so. I think, thing. I think it's going to be interesting few years yeah. between Universal and Disney to see how stuff goes. And really, for all the stuff that Universal, to see if it's actually going to break ground, if it's if they're going to start on it, or if it was just sort of concepts to get out there because Disney was announcing things. Sure. You never know. You never know. Um, so, but yes, the big trailer um, dropped... Dropped on Monday night during the college football championship, which I didn't realize it was coming. Then I walked into the room and all of a sudden it's like, get ready. Here it comes. I was like, oh, good. I didn't miss it. You know, so it, uh, yeah. It wasn't much of a championship game. I didn't watch it because I was in a yurt. But um, (laughs) when I saw the score, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't bother watching that. No, it was. It was so boring. (laughs) It was terrible. Unless you're a Georgia fan, I guess. I don't know. Man. But so that and then the season three Mandalorian trailer drops in the playoffs or something for it NFL. probably does playoffs. Like I yeah, sometime I don't know. Anyways, okay, so Ant Man, yes, trailer. yeah, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've loved about the Ant Man movies is for the most part, it was yeah. the comedy relief of the Marvel universe, right. And it looks like this one is not going to be that. Nope. It looks I'm, like it's going to be depressing. I mean, it's still have its funny it'll moments. It'll still be funny, yeah. I think it's going to be a lot. Someone's going to die. <laughs> yeah. And and it's yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be sad. It Do you like, think it's going to be Ant Man that dies? I think so. It seems either it gonna, it's going to be Ant Man or it's going to be a version of Ant Man that dies. That's true. <laughs> well. Uh, darn it! <laughs> hey, if we're talking about versions, remember what you know. We've we've talked about this with Star Wars. Mark Hamill came out and said that he wants Legends to come back and they can do it through Ahsoka. Is it a leak? <laughs> if Ant Man's gonna do it, Star Wars can do it too. Come on. Well, I see Ahsoka back there behind you. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, that way. Yep. Yeah. Oh, anyway, oh, now I'm out. I'm picking out. No, oh, no, camera. <laughs> the wonderful camera. It's like, you're done. Yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> there, go. there it goes. We, so got got view, we got a view of a character that uh, I don't know if we were expecting or not to be in there. Mode off, right? Did we know he was going to appear? I don't know. I think there was rumors that he was going to be in the movie. Well, he was there. Um, <laughs> he was there. You saw him with the mask on, and then you saw him split second with the mask off. 
Yeah. And it gave strong vibes of um, the Spy Kid movie. Um, <laughs> I, saw, I saw somebody post that. You may have uh, sent it. I don't know. <laughs> George Lopez in this. Yes. Spy Kids movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's, 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 it looks like it's going to be the, the, the villain from the first Ant Man movie, right? Uh, the actor uh, or the uh, that's what I, heard. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I forget. What is I can't confirm that one. <laughs> like, yeah, can't like confirm or deny that. <laughs> Man, that, that maybe how they're thing. doing it. I don't know why they're doing sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, Chris is here. So that's right. Chris would know. Chris would know. It it's looks exciting. Guy. It does. Lots going I'm excited on. about the movie. I, oh. I, um, what? My nephew said Amazon's doing Warhammer 40K show. Ooh. Yeah, with, um, Henry Cavill or Cavill, however you say his name. That's his it, newest thing. It's hmm. Still all about superheroes. You know, I thought that was going to die off, but, uh, you know, and, but I still haven't seen yeah. the newest Thor movie. Oh, you don't have to see the newest Thor movie. That, and that's why <laughs> I haven't seen it. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pretend that the first one was the one that I saw. <laughs> it was Ant Man. Um, I was going to say a couple things. I really like how they're doing Kang. Um, yeah, to have make him have the purple face with the mask. Yeah, because uh, I remember having that toy as a kid, and I'm like, are they going to make him look like the toy? And pretty much they have with the helmet. Oh yeah, and the mask. Yeah, uh, so that's really cool. Um, I, I'm excited to see more of Kang. It's a little sad that it comes probably at the demise of Ant Man or Ant Man characters. Um, it looks like there will be many Ant Mans in the movie, where he splits up or something. So who knows? <laughs> yeah, who's gonna die? Someone's gonna die probably. As well as the Guardians movie, somebody's if not all of them are gonna die. Looks like the main characters that we've grown to love are all coming to an end. Moving on for new characters <laughs> that we will see if we well. <laughs> Well, maybe I shouldn't have reminded us about Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be good. And that's coming out in I, February, right? Yeah, it. I think yes. it looks really good. Very? I'm, I'm excited for them to do something different with Ant Man. Yeah, it's going to be different. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's definitely going to um, be different. And then Loki will be coming out in in the spring at some point. So maybe maybe there'll be a tie in. I don't know. I mean, that's where we saw Kang first, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there will be Kang. Yeah, the Witch King. Oh, just a reminder for our listeners and watchers, we are have we started it last week a movie bingo for 2023. Yeah. Ant Man is one of those bingo. If you want your own bingo card, so you can win, probably not fabulous prizes. Um, <laughs> I don't just have the any adoration of us. Yeah, you can uh, message us on social medias um, at I Am Geek Show. You can email us at imgeekshow at gmail.com and we can send you your own 2023 I Am Geek bingo movie card that has all the movie, all the big movies coming out this year. And you can see if you can get bingo before one of us. Ooh. So <laughs> right now, my bingo it's card, like it's, it's if I see the movies <laughs> that are on the bingo card, I could be done by June. The way my yeah. bingo, all each bingo card is different. No yeah. two are the same. Are you three so. D printing these? Because that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> then no, it's a memorabilia. It's, it's come on, man. It's just a bingo website. Think about your fans. <laughs> Think about your fans. Could be it. Yeah, I could print you out your bingo sheet on my. Um, paper printer. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I want got to be three or nothing. <laughs> How can I do that? I mean, I guess I could do that. Oh, of course you could. <laughs> I I believe in you. But do I want want to do that? <laughs> you do. Oh, no. I need to get a whiteboard. Write it up there. <laughs> Spray it. Anyway, so that's that's available if anybody wants it. And I guess the is Ant Man the first movie that's on there. I think I think on there, yeah, because there were there was there were other movies that came out this past week. Um, Medium is that the name of that movie? 
I don't know. Megan? <laughs> Megan, that's it. Megan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we put Megan. We did Megan on there. That's what we, we were talking about it last week. But but um, yeah. that was one of the first ones. Good old Meg. So yeah, I well, think cool. Um, yeah. Probably the first one. I don't remember. Yeah, get started. Get started. <laughs> Derek's art. He's. I know he wants his his own copy. Three D printed. I do. I'll bring it to you. A three D printed one in May. So just, you just got to come to Disney World. Oh man, I'd love to do that. He's out of focus. <laughs> the software's yeah, telling you like, it's yeah. time to go. <laughs> <laughs> time to wrap it up. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, last news, and then we're out. We're done. Um, Three of the main characters from the Star Cruiser, main actors, all put out videos this last week saying that they are done with the Star Cruiser. Wow. Which does not bode well for the Star Cruiser. No. What are they going to um, do with that? Two of the two of the actors that have said that they are done, I mean, one of them sounded like it wasn't his choice. Mm. And and two of them, which was one of those guys, two of the guys were the actors that helped create the characters for the Star Cruiser. Oh. Mm. So Sage, um, I forget Sage's last name, and I forget the other guy's name. Um, and then there was a girl that played one of the um, lightsaber trainer people. I have all said that they are wrapping up hmm. their time there and will not be coming back. So makes me think that um, Disney's making some cutbacks because they're not filling the rooms like they wanted to. And the first thing that will probably go are the actors because they have to pay them a lot more, which means mm. you could have college program kids. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't lose all the actors that are in uh, Galaxy's Edge. Wait, that we never got. That <laughs> no, that we never got. <laughs> all yeah. those droids look really cool scooting around there too. Mm. Yeah, so and that's one thing that I really wanted to do as a Star Cruiser. But if it get if it goes down to you're paying the same amount, but you're not getting the show, it's like, well, yeah, why bother? Um, even now, it's too, it's too expensive. Um, so who knows what's going to happen there? Will it just become a hotel? Will they keep the show elements? What's going to happen? Don't know, but that was sad to hear because those were two two of the actors, and I'm like, yeah, I want to see their performance because they do such a good job. I want to see mm -hmm. it live. No, I won't be seeing it live. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> if you are a listener, just some news, and you live in the Houston area, this Friday, we've had him on one of our other episodes, Terror Isle, the uh, pirate themed escape room which is phenomenal it's like universal horror nights quality um this friday only give them a little plug we'll have live actors in their escape rooms pirate actors um playing along with you nice so so check cool. it out terror isle um you can check them out on facebook you can google terror isle um escape rooms they do a haunted attraction during halloween and the rest of your uh, okay, so they're doing that and then if you want to take your significant other they're having a special valentine's day couples night hmm. um, where so you can leave the other person locked in there <laughs> and you can get out and have your own fun man <laughs> <laughs> what an oh, idea man. <laughs> what as an I idea. hold up my, I'm like holding up so you can see my wedding ring okay <laughs> <laughs> alright we got married you know, on the on the twelfth of February, so we don't have to celebrate Valentine's. Oh, Day. what oh, you planned that well? We did, <laughs> and it's usually Super Bowl weekend. Oh yeah, who's going to be in the Super Bowl? No one knows. Tom Brady, probably. It's already been written. <laughs> Let's not even play this game. Yep, we don't know. That's why we they play the game. If we had time, we could get into the conspiracy theory that it's all scripted. <laughs> the, the the NFL, bing bing. Um, I've seen many videos on that lately. So the power nice. of TikTok. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway, Derek, thank you for coming on again. <laughs> Thanks for turning me into the bad cop. I thought I was going to be all positive. No, <laughs> I, I am really excited about the announcements, though. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually am. Too. Yep, they're making an effort. It makes you makes you think there's more to come, and it, it sounds promising. Definitely. So. Yes. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out and seeing what comes next mm-hmm. from Disney and Universal. Um, we'll see. But thanks for coming on, Derek. I'm sure we will do many more things with you here in the future because we like having you around. I like being around. We do. Yeah. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and you'll be more, we promise all our listeners, he will be more than just a fill in for Chris. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so silly. Anyways, thank you guys for listening and watching. Make sure you follow us on all social medias at I'm Geek Show. And make sure you like, subscribe, share, YouTube, give us some five star ratings. We only want five star ratings on Apple uh, Podcasts. And thanks for listening. And we'll be back next week with something new, something fun, and of course, something geeky. See you next time on I Am Geek. Bye bye. Bye. Hurry back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your geek certificate. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>